to Partnering 101. Um, in the last episode, we talked about one-handed promenades and the challenges with one-handed promenades. In today's episode, we are going to talk about preparation for lifting and taking a pose and leaning it out. For our next exercise, let's have Chloe, please stand in front of me. And before we go on point, I'm just going to break down the exercise. So Chloe is going to have her left arm up and right arm up first. And I'm gonna take that pose when she's on point. I'm going to place my elbow right here. I'm gonna keep my hand in allongé and I'm going to Take her back, just like she would be leaning on a sofa, and back to fifth, and done. A couple of things to look out for is, Chloe, please take your throw in, good. When I am leaning her out, leaning out, it's not like this, I'm not grabbing around, and I'm not doing this, yeah? I am not leaning her up, I'm also not ever rotating around her whole entire body and grabbing it. I'm always making sure my elbow is supporting her shoulder blade and I'm taking this shape out and shape back while still having a classically structured arm. It's not grabbing, it's not holding, it stays classically structured and it's back and back to fifth and finish. To execute this step, let's have Chloe come up to Susu, left leg to the front. Can you please take your left arm over your head? Right knee first. Just like we're talking. Elbow, arm is nicely shaped. I am in charge of, with my body weight, taking the position out. I'm taking it out over my left knee. I am pushing back with my left knee. I'm bringing her back up. I'm putting in my right hand so that when I release my left hand, I will have control over her position. Now she's ready to hold down and finish. Now let's talk about preparation for lifting. When a male dancer partners a woman, you are required to keep L-shaped with your arms. But you might ask, well, how do you lift then? You would have to probably roll down and up. This is exactly something that we don't do as ballet dancers. And you want to keep an L shape. Chloe's gonna just stand over here and face a little bit this way so that they can see much better. So I am keeping my L shape. The power comes from my legs. So look, I have an L shape. I'm holding her. Now, to lift her up, I am not changing my L shape at all. I'm lifting her up and I'm putting her down with my legs and nothing is moving. So I am not doing this, like lifting heavy weights, no. I am using my legs, I'm lifting up, I'm putting her down and release. Now, let's see this exercise in action. Kobe, would you please take a fifth position? Great. Let's, let's have ribs in. Beautiful. Nice. Whole body's nice and tight. Beautiful. I am going to do four slow changements and four fast. And I'm going to show you how I apply this technique of holding the L shape. It can move slightly, obviously. Everything taken to extreme cannot always be good. It can move slightly, but the idea is that you're using your legs instead of your back, instead of your biceps, and tiring your arms out. So let's give it a practice try, yes? We're gonna, I'm gonna plie with you. Plie, and one, and two, and three, and four, and fast, and fast, and fast, and finish. Excellent. Let's put this into practice in a larger sense and Chloe and I we're going to show you the eventual progression of this particular lift 
So what I'm doing is I'm plie, I'm using my legs to get to this height. Now from this height on, I'm using my arms. As they come down to this, I'm taking it over from my arms with my legs and I'm placing her down. So let's see how this will look. One and two, plie. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. Please feel free to try these things yourself out at home. Be safe and use what you'll learn today. If you're using your legs, you can lift much better. And if you're using correct position of your arms, you can transfer beautifully the female partner's shape. So much.